Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. As uh, you can see, this is King Kony F32. So it's very big and it's very powerful because it has 32 channel Omron 16 ampere relay, high quality relay. It's removable. If the relay is broken, you can re replace by yourself. It's very easy. And this part also made by ESP32S3 and support Arduino IDE, support Home Assistant used by ESP Home and supported by KCS V3. Also supported voice control by Alexa Speak and Google Home Speak because it is supported by Tuya mobile phone application. So in this video, we will look at this hardware design details and how it works with a different software solution. Okay, let's look at this hardware details firstly. Okay, let's look at uh, this is King Kony F32. So it's very big and we can compare with another controller. And you can see this is King Kony F16, this 16 channel relay part. You can see the size uh, is big. And this size, let's look at. The size of the lens, you can see. Uh, uh, this is the size of the lens. And it also is part installed on the DIN rail. No problem on, on the DIN rail. And this is size. You can see this is size. And also you can see this size. Okay. So let's look at uh, this uh, interface in description. And you can see this is really output. Uh, this is 32 channel really output. And every that have come and now will open uh, just for 6 ampere max current uh, for this terminal. And uh, this is really manual control button. Also used as before uh, if the software is feature and the network is feature. So this menu control button without anything software, just by physically controlling the release coin. And uh, this terminal also is removable. You can see I have removed this socket. So this is removable. It's very easy for you to connect with the one. Uh, you can see this is removable. And let's look at uh, this uh, internet part. And this uh, antenna, extend antenna. Uh, you can connect with this antenna or connect uh, extend antenna for long distance. So this is for Tuya, Tuya Wi-Fi antenna. And this is for ESP32 S3 Wi-Fi antenna and this you can see this is download button download button and this is ESP32 reset button and this is for USB-C for download firmware for ESP32 and SD card will save the logo and this have a 433 MHz or RF receiver a mo module you can connect it here uh, just uh, use by this module you can see, used by this module, you can connect as this socket so that you can use RF remote or RF sensor. And this one you can see that have free GPL. Uh, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven free GPL you can use uh, for sensor or for other device. And this for analog input uh, for A1 and A2 is for 0 to 5 volt. And A3 and A4 is for 20 milliampere. And this is A and B, and this is for power. And because uh, the F32 have two versions, one is 12 watt power supply, and another is 24 watt power supply. So you can choose uh, which watch of the board according to your requirements. Uh, just uh, the relay is two different coin voltage. And this one, you can see that the digital input. This is digital input. Also used for long distance, uh, this digital input of the cable marks support 500 meter long distance we have designed. So this is our interface at here. And let's open this aluminium shoe and look at what is inside of the PCB board. And we, we will open this, open this screw firstly. And open this one. On this cover, aluminium sure. And let's look at uh, look at this 
So OLED dis display and power LED and the LED indicates for every lane. Okay. Now we can install back of this cover. Okay, you can see this another PCB board. Uh, this I'm under testing. You can see this is just removable. So if you want uh, this board to work with 12 volt, just plug in the 12 volt relay. If you want the board to work with 24 volt, you can replace the relay for this 24 volt relay. So the PCB board all you see just only the different of the power supply according to the relay power of the work work voltage. Okay, now I will power on and connect with the network, Ethernet, and show you how it works with a different software application. And we can install this antenna because I'm using for Tuya application for testing. And this is a power supply. Uh, this I have connected 12 volt. Uh, also, you can connect with the 24 volt if you choose this bar to support 24. And I have already downloaded the KCS V3 firmware, and I just power on of this board, you can see, power on. And this, uh, the green LED is on, and that will show the welcome information, and we will see the internet IP address and the Wi-Fi IP address. So this is internet IP address, so we will log in my compute. Okay, let's back to my compute. And you can see in our official web page that should the F32. Uh, you can see some details, input and output, and some related information. You can see the ESP32 IO pin file and the ESP home YAML file and the Arduino source code. Uh, you can see this all have showed in our form uh, that you can see at here. Uh, just go into this F. 32 and you will see uh, many results at here source code and uh, ESP32 pin define and ESP home and uh, let's look at uh, KCS we can log in by our web browser use the Ethernet IP address and the default username and admin and the password admin and you can see this is F32 and this is the version and this is set for the input. If you want to reverse the level, you can click it here. And this is output for setting. And this have IF. Uh, you can learn signal from IF sensor or IF remote and uh, use a binary sensor. And this is sensor. You can add a sensor. Uh, choose some different types of sensor that by, uh, by different bus. Uh, you can see this one wire bus and this IF square C bus and this IF S485 bus, so you can choose by yourself and max support 32 sensors uh, by one container and also support one GPIO, such as you can choose DS18 b 20 temperature sensor and use by one GPIO for multi sensors. Okay, and let's look at the monitor. You can see I have connected the King Kong Cloud and the Home Assistant by MQTD Auto Discover and the Tuya also is connected and some other protocol if you want you just you can see it here you can enable uh, which one to use uh, the protocols and you can see I have enabled the King Kong Cloud so you can see in King Kong Cloud dashboard uh, this is by internet remote control by internet you can use any computer you can see F32 click and you can see the switch and the digital input and analog input. You can see I can turn on relay 1 and turn on relay 2. So you can see uh, this relay 1 and relay 2 is on. And I can also turn off relay 2 and turn off relay 1. This is for King Kong Cloud. And this one is for Home Assistant Auto Discovery. So you just import the device name and the Home Assistant Mosquito MQTD broke IP address and the port and the username and the password. So all the results of F32 will update to Home Assistant. Let's look at the Home Assistant dashboard. I have to do nothing set for Home Assistant. So just it will have auto discovered at this device and the device and we can 
input f32 you can see at here and f32 you can see uh, 32 channel switch and the four channel analog input and the 32 channel digital input and if you have connected with the sensor temperature sensor and humid sensor also we update to home assistant and you can see i can turn on this uh, by home assistant you can see this really will on um, so there are zero code set in home assistant and also you can see i can back to the monitor you can see the monitor you can see this have turned on and i can turn all off and turn all on and all off and all on if i turn all on really on you can see in home assistant that is all on so this is update the state and also we can look at the this one can connect cloud server also it update the state so this can use any application and make sure they update the state uh, or is no problem for different application okay so this is for digital output and you can also triangle by digital input use binary sensor this also you, you can use in home assistant and let's look at this FDDT if you want digital input and work with digital output such as uh, connect with a switch button so you can you can edit your FFTDT use DI which DI and triangle which DO so this is flexible you can use any digital input work with any digital output just by FTDT and the next you can see that is for the network setting and if you have Kinkoni G1 so that you can use a uh, GSM module so that you can use short message or voice call to turn on and turn off relay so it's, uh, it also is supported by FTDT used by 4G and for SMS notification and the next you can see the protocol I have showed you before you, you can see the UDP and the TCP and HTTP and QTT all will be support and this is customer side protocol used for FTDT and this is also supported by Apple HomeKit so you can set uh, import and output and uh, digital uh, and the TAC that is no this results so this not found and ADC that for analog just uh, use a work as a sensor in Apple HomeKit and at last you just enable the Apple HomeKit and this card uh, to uh, add to your iPhone or iPad okay you can see this looks sound system the lock sound also can be supported by UDP command you just set here and this is protocol how to integrate to lock sound mini server so this can be used and we have many uh, demo how to integrate to lock sound system in our form so you can make, uh, you can see another sound video talk about it and this is WS2812 that is for LD strip the RGB LD strip the RGB LED strip, which GPL you have connected, so you can just set here, and the LD account you can change it here. You just enable this, so you can connect many LD strip, RGB LED strip, in this F32 free GPL. And the last, you can see the system. You can set the time and the time room, and set the double click and the single click the the time uh, you want it. And this is restart the board and this is restart manufacturing setting by this this button so this have should work with the kcs v firmware if you want to use your own firmware you can write your arduino source code and also you can config by esp home uh, you just uh, you can see our phone you can see uh, this is esp home yaml file uh, so you can use this code and config by yourself and what you want this also is flexible and all Kinkonic product support ESP Home and support MQTT. So that will be very easy to integrate to other platform. Okay, uh, this is F32. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.